Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing the 7 Deadly Sins the movie, Prisoners of the Sky. Since this movie was on Netflix, and I'm a 7 Deadly Sins fan, I decided to watch the movie. I will say it's recommended that you watch the first two seasons in order to fully understand the movie. In this movie, Melios decides to go on a swim, through a spring hoping to find the ingredients that he was searching for. He is suddenly transported to a different world. A guy named Salad that looks very similar to Meliodas goes to his world. Meliodas' friends think Salad is Meliodas at first. Meanwhile, Meliodas is greeted harshly by people in Salad's world, because Salad is seen as a coward in his world. Now Meliodas must blend in, and not let people figure out that he's not Salad, and he's actually a demon. Demons are feared upon in Salad's world. In Salad's world, demons seem to be focused on unsealing a very powerful evil creature that could lead to the end of the world. The main appeal of this movie, for me, is just Melios showing off his power to everyone in Salad's world. It's amazing to see him overpower everyone and leave everyone in shock. It was funny to watch. I honestly didn't care about the small storyline of Salad gaining confidence and getting the respect of his people. He was just really boring as a character. Nothing exciting about his personality. I was somewhat disappointed by the fights in this movie. The all-powerful demons were a step below the villains in Season 2. So the seven deadly sins easily overpowered them. Seeing one side fights is not exciting to watch. Even the all-powerful creature that the demons were trying to unseal wasn't that powerful. It was a decent fight between that creature and the seven deadly sins, but it was not what I was expecting. I was expecting an overpowered creature that seemed impossible to defeat. The comedy was good in this movie though. It was hilarious seeing everyone show praise to Hawk because they think he's his all-powerful being. The music throughout the movie was okay, the animation style shown in this movie looks similar to the animation style shown in the first two seasons, which is good. The animation looked decent during fight scenes. This movie is decent to watch if you're a major Seven Deadly Sins fan, but I would hardly call it a must watch. I give this movie a 6 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day or night to wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.